Today I'm gonna to show you six low calorie, high protein meals from Chick-fil-A to help you be able to eat out fast food while still maintaining your weight loss or muscle building goals. A lot of folks tend to think that if you're on a diet, you gotta eat super clean, you can't go out to eat at restaurants, especially fast food restaurants, cause then you're just gonna gain weight. But in all reality, it just comes down to the amount of calories you're eating in a day that determines whether you're gonna continue losing weight or gain weight or maintain wherever you're at right now. So for me, I travel a lot for a living and I eat fast food quite often. And I can tell you just about at a restaurant has better options for you to eat that will help you maintain your physique goals. And so we're gonna go over Chick-fil-A today and we're starting out with breakfast. So what I would recommend is the egg white grill. And this comes in at 290 calories and 26 grams of protein. And this is a pretty large size sandwich. You have a big piece of chicken in there, you have an egg white, you have cheese, and the thing tastes pretty good and it's quite filling. But what you have to be careful for is not to go with the meal where you get the hash browns too, because this right here, just, there's a hash brown. These hash browns are 270 calories and you get only three grams of protein in it. So these are pretty much the same amount of calories on both of these. So what I do when I go there, if this doesn't seem like it'll be enough, I'll just end up getting two of these and then you're getting over 50 grams of protein with your breakfast really filled up with some good food. And you might be asking, how do you know the protein and calorie amounts of these things? Just about every restaurant has apps you can get. Here's the Chick-fil-A app. And you can go through and find the calorie amounts, the protein amounts, carbs, fats, all that stuff. So right here, egg white grill, you can see that. You can change out different cheeses. It, it adapts to whatever you put in there. And down at the bottom, you have 290 calories, 26 grams of protein. So this is what I'm always getting. If you go with the biscuits, those have a lot of butter and have a lot more fat in them. They're at least 100 calories more and usually closer to 200, depending on what you get. So that's really the only breakfast one I would suggest. And we're gonna move on to all the other menu options. Starting out with one of the best bangs for your buck, that is the Cool Wrap. And this comes in at 350 calories and 42 grams of protein. But you have to watch out because when you first look at this one, it defaults to 660 calories because they automatically select this avocado lime ranch dressing for you, which is 310 calories. So this thing right here, just this dressing is almost the same amount as your Cool Wrap. And this Cool Wrap has, it's in a pita, it's got chicken, cheese, lettuce. These things are pretty large. I mean, you see that right there. But when you take that dressing off, well now it's 350 calories and you can see 42 grams of protein on the app. And what I suggest for you, there are only two types of dressings that I ever get at Chick-fil-A. One is the light Italian. This is only 25 calories. This is my go-to, especially for these cool wraps because it only adds 25 calories. So then you're at 375 and still 42 grams of protein, which is a better ratio than most protein bars. And then the light balsamic vinaigrette. This is good if I want a different flavor. It's 80 calories, so you have a lot more, a lot, but it's less than 100 calories, that's fine. And that works out as well too. But just about all of these dressings, you got ranch, 280, zesty apple cider vinaigrette, 230 calories in this right here. Creamy salsa, 290. So you gotta be aware the dressings make a huge difference on what you're eating and can easily make those calories add up fast. So next up, we have the chicken nuggets. So these come in at 380 calories and 40 grams of protein. So once again, that's just as good as any protein bar you get, but it tastes a lot better. One thing to keep in mind again with this is it depends on the type of sauces that you get. For me, I actually eat these plain because I really like the flavoring, the breading and all that is really good. But you get ketchup, 25 calories per packet. This barbecue sauce, this is 45 calories per packet. But if you go up to stuff like this, Garden Herb Ranch, this little packet right here is 140 calories. So that, we're not even gonna use that. That's just a waste of calories. You could eat a lot more nuggets and be more full off that than just having some flavoring. Polynesian is 110. You've got Chick-fil-A sauce, that's 140 as well. And then if you like buffalo sauce, each of these packets is only 25 as well. So it's a lot like the ketchup, not bad. This is a 12 count of nuggets. So if you only got the eight count, you're gonna be at 250 calories and 27 grams of protein. So even less there if you're really trying to cut back on the calories. But if you are trying to cut back and get even more bang for your buck, 
you got the grilled nuggets, and this is 12 nuggets as well. This is only 200 calories, but it has a whopping 38 grams of protein, so that is a lot. These, I still like the grilled chicken by itself, but I might sometimes get some barbecue sauce with it. One of these barbecues is good enough for me for a whole batch, so then you're adding 45 calories. Still, it's less than 250 calories for all that. That's a lot of food to fill you up, and if you go with the eight count of this, 130 calories and 25 grams of protein, so the best bang for your buck in all the menu is with this right here. You might think, why do you want so high a protein? Why does that matter so much? Well, with protein, that helps you to build muscle. I go for a gram of protein per pound of body weight a day, 180 to 190. It's what I shoot for, so stuff like this is an easy way to get to that, and this tastes a lot better than a protein bar, and it's more filling. And the goal with the low calorie is, if you're on a diet, you want to not feel like you're on a diet. You don't want to be hungry all day. So things like this are going to fill you up and then help you to stick with your diet. And they taste good too. That's important because if you don't like your diet, you're not going to stick to it. Next up, we have the grilled chicken sandwich right here. And this thing comes in at 380 calories and 28 grams of protein. And this is a big sandwich. But once again, something to keep in mind, on the app, this defaults with this honey roasted barbecue sauce. This is 60 calories for this packet right here. And this is really good, but if you take that out, then you're down, to, then you're down to 320 calories and still the same 28 grams of protein. So if you cut out the sauces, then it is going to help. But I think this is really good. To me, it's worth it. One packet of this I can use on the whole sandwich, and it greatly increases the flavor. Once again, you need to like your diet, and that's something that helps me stick to it because it's really good. But you got to remember as well, when you get a meal that comes with a fry, this medium fry right here. 420 calories and only five grams of protein. So this fry right here, medium fry, has more calories than this massive sandwich right here. So I rarely ever get fries, but the good thing for me is if I'm in the mood for them, my kids always get them with their kids' meals and I'll just take a few from them and that satisfied the craving. So I got my fry, here you go, baby. Thank you. And then I don't end up wasting a bunch of empty calories. But what I will do if I am really hungry a lot of times, instead of getting fries for a side with this, I might get a cool wrap. So you imagine you eat a whole cool wrap as well as a sandwich. You're like 700 calories in. You're really full, got a lot of protein. You're not going to be craving more food later because you're going to be so stuffed from your meal. Whereas the fries, they might just make you feel kind of blah and it's empty calories pretty much. They might taste good, but if you're trying to build that muscle or maintain your muscle in a cut, the more protein the better. And that's an easy way to do it. Or the opposite way, if I end up getting this, instead of getting a meal with fries, I want some more chicken, I'll go with some of these nuggets to go along with it. So this is like my fries that go along with this. Those low calorie menu items, voluminous, fill you up, good way to stick to your diet. And last up, we have the salads. Now, just about any salad they have is gonna be good as far as calories to protein ratio, low calorie. What I like to get a lot is the Cobb salad, so we'll take a look at that. And once again, it defaults to this avocado lime ranch dressing. With that, you're just adding a bunch of wasted calories. So once again, the light Italian is a way to keep the calories low. It comes as well with these crispy bell peppers. I never put those on because it's just kind of wasteful and don't taste that good to me. So I take that off and that leaves us with 460 calories and 40 grams of protein for this large salad right here. So that's a good amount of food. If you get the right type of dressing, you know that's going to add 25 calories to it with the light Italian. So now we're at 485 and still 40 grams of protein with this. But if you want, you can lower the calories even more. If you get the grilled nuggets, now we're down to 365 calories for this whole thing. But your protein amount stays relatively the same, 39. Or you go with the grilled filet instead, now we're down to 335. So there's all kinds of options in here. You can figure it out, see what works best for your diet plan, how many calories you wanna have, and it's really simple. But I have seen people put on two of these dressings. So your salad's 400 calories and you add 600 and your salad turns into a thousand calories and you wonder why you're losing weight. You're thinking eating healthy isn't working. This fast food's making me fat, but no, it's just because you're loading on a ton of dressing. If I was going to eat that many calories, I'd rather have the salad and just get a milkshake to go with it. So be aware of what you're putting in it. That is the Chick-fil-A suggestions, six of them, and a little bonus. Remember drinks. You get a Coke or a lot of those medium drinks could be anywhere from 100 to 300 calories. Get water, get a diet soda. I got Coke Zero here, and that's gonna keep you from putting unnecessary calories into it and help you maintain your diet. I got lots of stuff on Instagram, at Camber Fitness. Hope this video was helpful. Leave a like, let me know what your favorite menu items are. If there's another restaurant you'd like to see with this later on, and I'll see you in the next one.